Hey everyone, it's Patrick from Vicious Computers and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial and guide on something I created today for my own usage. I figured, hey, it might be useful for other people as well. This is my new setup. I went from triple, well it was actually four screens, but let's say primarily a triple screen setup where um, I've always used triple screens for productivity, but gaming too. Surround gaming with Ifinity or NVIDIA Surround is really, really cool. But the last setup I had had a 21 by 9 ultra wide in the center, and I found that I really enjoyed that for gaming. And I decided to step up to these super ultra wides. That means no more multi-monitor for the triple screens, and that's hurt productivity a little bit, and it's introduced some growing pains not just in the loss of productivity, but also in gaming. The game I'm playing right now, Cyberpunk 2077, has shown me that it has an issue that may not be present on other games and I had to create a solution for. Playing in 32 by nine across one of these is a bit much. It either is too much of a performance tax when you're playing a dual 4K or the FOV distortion and everything is just so extreme that it's not worth it. 21 by 9 is actually the sweet spot. You get more than 16 by 9, it looks nice, you get extra immersion, and with this size screen, I feel like it's the perfect middle ground. But Cyberpunk 2077, for whatever reason, even if you set your in-game resolution to a 21 by 9 aspect ratio, it still fills the entire screen, causing it to be stretched and distorted. So the solution is to play it in windowed mode instead of full screen mode, and that works, but then off to your far left and right hand sides, you're gonna have your desktop showing through, which breaks the immersion and can be distracting. So I saw someone said they went to the dead pixel check screen and they would full screen a black background to work around that issue. And I was like, that's smart, but I'm not gonna go through that trouble every time I'm gonna do it. So let's make it better. And I did, I wrote a program, it's a very simple script and I'll have a link in the description of the video to download it, including the source code. And real quick, I'm just going to demo what it does so that you can see how to, how to use it. So let's start up Cyberpunk real quick. Maybe turn down the volume a little bit. First, I'll demo the issue, which is the stretched full screen. So it's currently set to windowed how I'm playing it to get around the issue. All right, so here is the game in windowed full screen or borderless window, whatever you prefer to call it. And you can see the desktop shows through and that's just not the right, right thing to do. If we go into settings and we go to uh, video, we'll see I have 5120 by 2160, which is a 21 by nine aspect ratio. And it's in the borderless mode. If I put it in full screen, this is what happens. Same resolution, but it stretches it out and distorts it and it looks terrible so let's go back to our settings let's put that back to the window mode how we're going to fix it so up here let me tab out up here we have the script that i wrote here's a, a brief look at the source code as it is right now if i don't add more to it or change it and what happens when you run this we get a little pop-up that says, here's what your hotkeys do. Uh, shift plus escape to exit, shift plus one to activate the game and the black bars, and shift plus two to hide the game and hide the black bars. Immediately, it will add the black bars and activate the game screen and put you in the game if you were, were not in focus. Now, if we go back to the game, you'll see how much better that looks, especially with the, the Neo G9 or the Neo G8s with the local dimming zones. It looks like OLED black, but it won't give you burn in on your screen. So that uh, is a much easier, faster way than dealing with some kind of weird hack, adding black bars to your background or putting like a black desktop background because you'd still see your taskbar and other things, pop-up messages. This will just completely fix it. But to make it better, let's try some of those hotkeys out. So shift and number two will immediately minimize the game and hide the black bars and put you on your, your desktop. So if you wanted to look at something, this is like a faster, better way of tabbing out because it keeps the game there and uh, minimizes everything for you just with a hotkey press. So you can see the game is still here, it's minimized. We can activate it again. The other button was shift and one. So if you ever found yourself in a situation that you're running the script and the black bars went away, 
you can just press shift in one and it reactivates them and brings the game back in focus again which means you can also rapidly change between the two so shift two do some work on your desktop shift one automatically bring everything back and then when you're done with everything you're done playing the game you want to go back to normal shift and escape will end the script and bring you back so that's that. Let me go ahead and exit the game and just talk about the script in a little bit more detail. All right, so it'll be two, well, it'll be just one file. It's gonna be the fix cyberpunk ultra wide exe. And there's a configuration file. Inside of that configuration file, I don't know where that just went. <laughs> Edit, there it goes. So inside that configuration file, it's an INI file. It's just gonna be your desktop width and height um, to save you having to have two files. I'm just going to delete that configuration file and show you, show you what happens. The first time you run the exe, and we'll just close it by shift and escape, it actually creates that configuration file for you automatically, and it tries to do its best to detect your main desktop monitor and set the resolution. But if for some reason it gets it wrong because of scaling or because of multi-monitor, like in this case, that's not my actual resolution because of the scaling set right now, I can manually change it to the correct resolution and then save it and it'll update it. So that's uh, pretty much where the config file comes from and what it does, it's just a way to set the desktop values for you rather than having it hard coded in the script since everyone might have a different resolution or a different reason to use this. So with that, I think that's pretty much all there is to it as far as demos if you have any questions or anything ask down in the comment section hopefully this helps somebody and you enjoyed it and maybe even get you started on uh doing some simple programming and encoding and all that good stuff because auto it i've used it a lot for my own personal stuff like i don't know an example waiting for something to go on sale and i track it and cool scripts like this like finding my mouse cursor and whatever you name it i've done a lot but i've also used it at work in an enterprise environment so it can be a useful skill for you once again this was patrick from vicious computers and i'll see you next time